Fala Galera. In this video, it's gonna be Triff Gaming versus Paulo P R R J Yu Gi Oh. Let's go. So in this duel, I will be playing a deck that is not Pendulum, by the way. That I think is gonna be so insane in about a month. Whereas Paulo is playing what he believes is the best deck in the meta, and that is Melfi Tri Brigade. He also thought this before Tanky was limited. So anyways, let's get straight to this video. Before we get into it, why don't you guys do me a massive favor? Why don't you guys go, to go check down the description below, check out Paolo's content, give him a, a smash the subscribe button for him, smash the subscribe button on my channel as well, smash the like button, and check out all the other links down the description below if you want to support your boy. So hope you guys enjoy the video, I'll see you guys at the end. Let's get it. Well, you guys are in for a fucking treat. Like, this match right here is going to show you guys so much new cards that you have to prepare for and be ready for. Clearly, I'm playing Live Twins. Now, Live Twins post bowed are insane. The Link 4 is so good. Like, you have no idea how good the Link 4 actually is. It's broken. So, uh, you're going to go into Karis here. I asked the first player, I, I Valor the Karis. If you look at his hand. He has a very similar hand as I do. These are actually very similar decks. That, decks that can play a lot of hand traps and a bunch of starters. So he has Ash and Valor. I have my two starters of Kissakill and Desires. So I end up drawing a, a Sunny Snitch, and this is where I make a massive misplay. So what I should have done was normal Kissakill right away. This would force him to Valor, and then if I activate this, or even Ash perhaps, and then if I activate this, there's a chance he didn't use it. Anyways, he ends up Ashing it, and then he Valors this. Now at this point, I'm like, shit. Maybe I even should have Desires first to bait an Ash. Because if Desires gets Ash, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it. And that really probably was the play, if I'm being honest. Anyways, he doesn't fall. He, he I hand traps at the correct times. I Desires. I need to draw some extender. And I absolutely do not. And I just battle phase. Activates effects. So it doesn't take anything. This is a battle of the hand traps. He has Nibiru. I have three hand traps. He goes Karis. Enter battle attack. I'm like, fuck. Okay. Now I just need to draw something. It's a battle. Whoever draws a starter. I drew my starter. Secret password into Livestone Sunny Stitch. Sunny Stitch adds Lilla, and this is where I do a massive, massive, massive misplay. Now, if you activate Live Home, you're locked into Evil Twins for the rest of the turn. What I should have done here to play around Nibiru was Lilla, Special, Frost. XYZ them, so it's two summons. XYZ them into Sky Cavalry, that's three summons. Attack, and then go into Zeus. Four summons, he has two cards in hand, I have three hand traps, I win the duel automatically. But being the clown that I am, I don't. I say he has one card, I literally say to myself, uh, he has one card in hand. What's the chances in Nibiru? It's just one card in hand. He just drew it for a turn. What's the chance of that? Actually, it's a pretty high chance. And here, I'm going to get absolutely destroyed by his Nibiru. So I'm like, damn it. And you're going to witness uh, a, some, a very big pattern in this duel. That Nibiru control is insane when you don't open a starter. I draw the starter and he ashes me. I'm like, oh my god, we can't catch a breakout here. He has no card in the... Like, I literally... There's no way I should have lost this duel. I was just a moron. That's how I lost this duel. Summons Cat, I imperm, I'm like, right, I have one last chance here. I need to draw a live twin starter right now, and I win the duel, and I draw Desires. I'm like, man, I literally lose the, no matter what now. There's no way I'll have a live twin in deck, and I don't, or in hand. So I lose game one, or I'm going to game two over here. Very unfortunate, a little unlucky that I played stupidly, but it's not unlucky. It's the fact that I played stupid. So if you play bad, you have to own up to it yourself. I played bad by not playing around Nibiru. So what's that going to mean for me? That means that moving forward now in the future, I'm going to be so scared of Nibiru because of what Paolo just did to me there in game one that I will never allow myself to be nibiru again. So now in this game, I'm going to be more aware of Nibiru. So I'll try and play around Nibiru a lot better. So next, I'm going to search into Lilla here. His hand, he has Imperm, Rescue Cat, Nervolt, Valor, Called By. He has a very good hand here, but guess what? So do I. I normal summon this, he Imperms. I go Desires. I'm like, all right, let's see what Desires could get me here. So Desires ends up getting me Cross of Designator. I'm like, I needed this earlier, man. I needed this earlier, but that's okay. That's totally okay. I'm going to pass my turn here. He goes Cat. I actually let the Cat resolve because I'm very, very, very scared of Gamma. I am very scared of Gamma. So I just let his Cat resolve freely. And then he goes into Fairjit because knowing that this is going to be the fifth summon when he brings up with Fairjit. So whatever he brings up with Fairjit, is going to be the fifth summon. And if he has any play like Karis, which he does, I'm just simply going to Ghost Warner the Karis, saving my Ghost Belt for a potential revolt that he has, and saving my Ash Blossom for the following turn. So, when I, uh, Nibiru, and then he's going to end up drawing one here. He draws a Tri Brigade. He thinks for a little bit if he wants to use it. He ends up using Karis. I Ghost Warner on the fact right away. He called by, and I Ghost Belt the called by. Oh, what a Ghost Belt was literally massive over there. And now things are looking a little bit similar to game one, 
where now I have the Nibiru control versus him. So I go to Nibiru, I attack the Karis and pass. He has Ash and Valor. He has a Nibiru a token, which is not that high. I believe 2,100 attack, 2,000 defense. I, I'm set up here. I just need to draw a starter. I get Desires. Uh, he, and I destroy it and he top decks Obedient School. He attempts to activate Obedient School and I'm like, hell nah. I saved this Ash. I did not use Ash on Rescue Cat. I waited and waited and waited. I end up Ashing the Obedient School and now I draw a starter. I draw my life society stage. He Ash Blossoms and that's when I hit him with the hottest cross out designator in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I end up getting my entire play off. I normal summon Frost. I don't have an actual effect here because of Frost's obvious effect. I need like I, I can't get Lil I can't get Lilla to use the effect of Lilla or other way around because I have a monster in the field. So I just go straight into this. I activate effect, he veilers. I desire to get more interruptions on his turn. And I get three interruptions on his turn. He ends up drawing a Nerval here. Obviously, I'm gonna imperm the Nerval right away to not allow it to get its effect. He's gonna search Fractal for the following turn. Then I'm just gonna draw on that effect and I just win here. This is just easy game. I just go access code quickly to this attack. So now into game three. Game one and game two have been incredible so far and a lot of things have happened. So I want you to see my hand here. I have Ash, Veiler, Lightning Storm, and I have Double Starter. This is absolutely insane. This is the perfect hand I want to have. If you look at Paolo's hand, both our decks are insane because he has Fractal and Obedient School. I'm probably fucked. And he has Imperm Nibiru. So on Obedient School, I think about it very deeply. Appaloosa literally obliterates my deck. Appaloosa destroys my deck. I actually thought about for a while letting Obedient School resolve because I'll just Lightning Storm the Revolt and he will have no, like, any back row he has, I just get rid of. And because he's locked into beasts, he's not going to actually have any moss in the gates. Aside from random Melfi cards. But I don't care about Melfi, Melfi cards. I end up just ashing it just in case because it'll get him, like, a huge, too much of a plus. Then he goes Fractal, and I instantly regret my play. <laughs> like, I do have Valor, so <coughs> I do have Valor, so I'm fine. But it's still scary. I don't want to get hit with an Appaloosa. It does destroy my deck. So he sets an Imperm. I Lightning Storm. I expected he did not have Revolt, otherwise would have saved Lightning Storm. I could have also done it right away, but I expected him not, that he didn't have it because he didn't go into Al Mirage with the kit. So I knew this was just like a hand trap like Imperm or Cosmic or something. But I know he won't play Cosmic. I thought that was Imperm. So he has uh, Nibiru left. All I got to do now is play around Nibiru. If I go Kiss a Kill, Kiss a Kill to special uh, the other one. And now remember what I said earlier, to play around Nibiru, you can just go into the XYZ. Uh, you just go into Cavalry and then go into Zeus. The issue with that is... Uh, if he has any Tri Brigade in his hand, any Tri Brigade, or if he draws into any Tri Brigade, I ought to lose to Karis because I have no hand traps. I have no hand traps. And knowing because I have Live Twin Home, I'm going to try and play into Nibiru as much as I can because I have Live Twin Home that I've been saving. So next, I'm going to go into... Uh, yeah, I just special the other one that's like super shit. I go into this, special, activate. So I activated the effect of Kiss a Kill so far. I don't use the effect of Lilla. Uh, he Nibiru's. Uh, and then I go into Live Twin Home, and then on Live Twin Home, so he has, gets kit. Live Twin Home, I discard. I special the other one. And then I go into Lilla. Lilla effect his skill to draw. And then I go into the Link Four. I couldn't do this because I already used its effect earlier. So I go into the Link Four here. I just attack. And even if I didn't draw the evenly, it didn't matter much because I get to pop him. I activate the effect here. I pop. He didn't have Karis. Uh, he goes Kurt N Nerval add. He was out of Karis, as it seemed, and he, he couldn't do anything. We won simply because of how good the Link 4 is. It gets a pop and a draw at the same turn, so that's that's pretty insane. The fact that you get both a pop and a draw on the same turn. Big shout out to Paolo. I have much respect for Paolo. Uh, he, he won literally three YCSs in a row. I don't think that's ever going to be done ever in history again, aside from when I play YCSs in a row again with three Electromite. Let's go, baby. Because when it comes back, we're going to win a lot of YCSs too. Anyways, why don't you guys do me a favor, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Also, check out Paolo's channel down below. If you like comment, if you like videos like this, comment down below what you like. Check out the links, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!